Alrighty, hello and welcome back. Um, we left off in this facility destroying people right, left, and center. And now, we're going to finish the rest of this map and then head to Novaria. So there is a place, I can't tell if this is on top of the mountain or below it, but there is another place here. So I'll see y'all in a second. Alrighty, I was trying to do the whole map that I fell into a geth trap. It showed a uh, notification it was a trap. Oh god. Nope. Bro, can't even spawn yet. Get out of here. Not dealing with you either. Okay, yeah, this little thing was a geth trap. Can I still do anything with this? No. Okay. Well, we went to here, but uh, I'm going to try to get these others. But I th I'm having a feeling these are all going to be traps, so I'm going to be skipping here and there. Alrighty, and we're back. I did get this deposit as a cobalt deposit. And we also found this weird camp, and I just had to jump out and power this thing up. Um, nothing crazy, but um, the next areas we're going to be going to would be the last couple areas, which would be two right, right next to each other, actually. So, I'll see y'all in a second. Alrighty, it looks like we're here. There's two different areas. There's a deposit right there, and it looks like a burnt out vehicle right here. To mark the nearby material when he died, yeah, or was killed. Okay. Radium. Wow, I have never seen an opening like that ever, even in the other playthrough. That is big, big, big. All right. And here's another look at, of the map of how many things you can find in here. I'm going to be posting... i Now nah, I'm just saying this in like episode 20, or I'm sure this is episode 20 now. I'll be posting the link of the map I'm currently... The maps I'm using to look at all these mineral locations, because they do help you in Mass Effect 3. They, these things do help you in Mass Effect 3. Uh, you collect enough of these, and then it'll, it will like give you like more war assets, which helps you in the war. And if you don't know anything about it, I won't say anything about it. But if you do, you're, the, you're a real MVP for sure. But if not, I mean, this game's very welcoming. And I am glad I'm making a gameplay video thing on it. Or playthrough, I guess. Okay, now we're done here. I just can't believe there was nothing else here besides the Majesty. Yep, nothing else here. So now time to go to Novaria. I guess you, I guess this is like more like a Pax East sort of thing. Okay, we're gonna explore every other planet before we go. Just in case there's any other minerals anywhere else. Usually, there usually is. Ooh, that looks like a weird watermelon color. Is that it? Yep, looks like that's it. Oh, I haven't been in Novaria. I've been in Pharos when the last playthrough, but I accidentally made a boo boo, so I had to reset reset the whole series. So I'm actually kind of excited to see what uh, Novaria looks like. Approach control, this is the SSV Normandy, requesting a vector and a berth. Normandy, your arrival was not scheduled. Our defense grid is armed and tracking you. State your business. Citadel business. We got a Council Spectre aboard. Landing access granted, Normandy. Be advised, we will be confirming identification on arrival. If confirmation cannot be established, your vessel will be impounded. What a fun bunch. I think I'll take my next leave here. Alrighty. Yeah, the people I need to bring with me is Rex and... Oh, wait, no. No Rex. I will have to bring um, Garrus with me. So if I bring him with me, then he's going to get upset that I'm letting the Rex and I run around. And I don't want to have to say, you know, F off. It's going to make me sad. So we'll bring Garrus. 
equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. Wow, this looks really nice. I like the lighting system in here though, the most. That's far enough. We're not here to cause problems. This is an unscheduled arrival. I need your credentials. You first. We're the law here. Show some respect. I'm Captain Maiko Matsuo, Ilanis Risk Control Services. I'm a Spectre. My name is Shepard. Load of horse crap, ma'am. We will need to confirm that. Also, I must advise you that firearms are not permitted on Novaria. Sergeant Sterling, secure their weapons. Citadel authority supersedes yours. Stand down. Their house, their rules. If you think this is best, Commander. Captain Matsuo, stand down! We confirmed their identity. Spectres are authorized to carry weapons here, Captain. You may proceed, Spectre. I hope the rest of your visit will be less confrontational. Parasini-san will meet you upstairs. Behave yourself. Get out of here. I'm sure Parasini-san will answer any questions you have. Ooh, that's a weird machine. Newly updated, I'm sure. Weapons detectors, don't mind the alarms. I am Gianna Parasini, assistant to Administrator Analeas. We apologize for the incident in the docking bay. I appreciate your help. You're welcome. You understand our security chief was only doing her job. One of my duties is orientation of new arrivals. Do you have any questions? Pretty heavy security for such a small port. The executive board does everything in its power to protect the privacy of our client corporations. I can't have my investigation hampered. Tread lightly. The board can bury you in litigation. You'd need an Asari lawyer to see the case through. Has anyone unusual passed through here recently? Unusual? An Asari matriarch passed through a few days ago, Lady Benezia. Benezia? She is here? Can I speak with her? Benezia left for the Peak 15 research complex days ago. To the best of my knowledge, she's still there. Could you tell me how to get there? You'll need to ask Administrator Analeas for clearance to leave this port. Where can I find the Administrator? His office is on the main level, left at the top of the elevator. Understood. Can we go in now? Of course. If you need any help, you can ask me at the Administrator's office. She is here. I can't believe it. I imagine you want to talk to me, Shepard. About my mother. No, I don't. I trust you, Liara. You may not be military, but you're part of my crew. Thank you, Shepard. That means a great deal to me. I still think these things... I don't think these things were in the original. If they were, they were really, really shitty. Oh, I miss Helicator. Welcome to Port Hanshan, the galaxy's most respected site for independent scientific research and development. For your own safety and to protect the privacy of others, you are required to obey any directions given by our security personnel. If you have questions or concerns, our friendly administrative staff is always available. Thank you, and enjoy your stay. I still find it kind of BS. Oh, hang on. Are they talking, talking? Hmm. Oh. The managers warned us about you. About, like, I'm a specter. Like, I should be able to just go there without their permissions, you know? Anyways. This one offers greetings. You are the specter that visits Port Hanchan. News travels fast here. Indeed, esteemed specter. Your arrival was not greeted with any joy by the companies here. This one has a burden that you could ease. 
If an arrangement could be made, it would compensate you. This one has procured a special item for a customer. The item is not permitted within the station, but you could bring it through customs. You want me to use my status to smuggle for you? That is not inaccurate. I won't carry anything if I don't know what it is. This one must be discreet. Rest assured, the contents pose no threat to anyone within this port. I want to know where this package is going. This one's customer prefers to remain anonymous. I'd be stupid to do this without knowing I'm not equipping my own enemies. Your words are not unreasonable. The customer is the Krogan called Inamorda. That one is a bounty hunter of some repute and quick to anger. You understand this one's urgency. That other grows restless from the delay. Maybe later. Right now, I need supplies. Of course. This one apologizes for inconveniencing you. <laughs> I think that license should be here, too. Uh, the wells on the material. Okay, we're gonna go back. Has the other reconsidered? All right, I'll help. Is there anything else this one might help you with? Could I buy something now? Is there anything in particular? Hmm. Greetings, Spectre. Have you brought the package? Of course. This. Greetings, to Spectre. Have you brought? Of course. I'm trying to find the Elgelical thingy license. I I know you can get it from here, but. I'm not exactly sure where. Uh, oh wait, I have a map, don't I? We go to that administ administration's office. So I don't think you can really talk to anyone else here. Then before we go into the peak, we actually have to go back to the citadel and return some missions. Huh? I don't see anybody here. It's still just as open though. I think these things are really really detailed though the walls are I don't know I want to say the walls are about the same yeah the walls are about the same I think glass is new Let's see you walk over here pretty fast how can I help you I'd like to speak to Analeas one moment please mr. Analeas yes what what commander Shepard is asking to see you sir right fine come in Oh, damn. You only has one? Well, dude, you're not gonna live long. You will excuse me if I don't stand up. I have no time to entertain space-born vagabonds. I see you looked up my service record. Only a fool enters negotiation without knowledge of the other party's tendencies. This greeting is a courtesy. I will only cooperate as required by the executive board. Businesses come here to avoid the second guessing of galactic law. Are you telling me you have no safety protocols? Don't be ridiculous. Do you think a for-profit company would take no precautions against loss of life and material? Project leads have the final say here, not meddlesome politicians. Do you do business with Saren? Agent Saren? One of your Spectre compatriots? He is a major investor in Binary Helix Corporation, which is one of Novaria's backers. I've heard an Asari matriarch is here. Benezia? She arrived a few days ago, accompanied by a personal escort and some cargo. She's up at peak 15. What can you tell me about her cargo? Large, heavy, and sealed. It passed weapon screening. Beyond that, it is not our concern. What do you mean, personal escort? The phrase is self-explanatory. Bodyguards attending to the safety of her person, mainly Asari commandos. Commandos? You didn't think that odd? They followed all our regulations. I had no reason to forbid Lady Benezia from taking them. I'd like to see her, immediately. I'm afraid that you cannot. Peak 15 is a private facility in the Scotty Mountains. 
Regardless, there is a blizzard in the area. Shuttles are grounded and surface access has been cut off. Surface access, you say? Cut off, I said. The roads are not suitable for travel. Don't make an issue of this, Shepard. Forget him, Commander. If he won't help us, I'm sure someone else here will. What brought her out here? If I knew, I wouldn't be at liberty to say. She came here as Agent Saren's executor. She is here on business for Binary Helix. There were issues at Peak 15 that required Saren's attention. Back to my other questions. Every minute of my time you waste costs the company 12 credits. I will keep a running tally. Do you do business with Saren? I believe I ex... He is a major investor in Binary Helix Corporation, which is one of Novaria's backers. Is Binary Helix developing weapons for him? It's possible, given his interests. What our clients do in their labs is their business. I have no more questions at this time. Good. I received a dozen urgent messages while you dithered about. Mr. Analeas isn't the only one with a pass to leave Hanchan. You've never worked in the corporate world, have you, Commander? You can't bludgeon through bureaucracy. So it would seem. I need an alternative. Talk to Lorik Keen. You should be able to find him at the hotel bar. Can't say more. Not within earshot of Mr. Analeas. How large are the facilities here? We have 17 research complexes built into the mountains. Each is a self-sufficient facility housing a staff of hundreds. You said I should talk to Lorik Keen? Mr. Analeas isn't the only one with a pass to leave Hanshan. Keen spends his days at the hotel since his office was closed. Tell me about the companies that work on Novaria. Over 250 high-tech firms rent our labs. Major shareholders include Elanis Risk Control Services, Binary Helix, and Synthetic Insights Limited. Your guards work for ERCS, don't they? The executive board gets a discount on facility security. Elanis also develops lethal and non-lethal weapons. Binary Helix, they work in genetics? BH is a leader in genetics and biotechnology. They try to keep a low profile in the media. Much of their research is in biotic modifications. That angers many Luddite, organic baseline, and fundamentalist groups. Haven't I seen synthetic insights in the news lately? They're one of only four corporations licensed by the Citadel Council to develop artificial intelligence. They attract many protests. No agitators have ever breached our security. That's why they invest heavily here. I've taken up enough of your time. Not at all, Spectre. This is my job, after all. I think the snow is about the same, but I think they added some frost to the windows, because I don't think it had that in the original. Like, I don't think they had, like, the little frost bites around the glass. Wow, this looks so sick. I mean, it's still pretty open and pretty plain, but I feel like they try their best. 100% to make it look cool as possible. Uh, we go down here first. I know it's not where the hotels are at. I think the hotels are up there. Yeah, it should be up there. Um... Spectre, right? Yeah, that's me. I used to be a military tech. Except for my ego's people, everyone's too corporate here. They just sit around sipping expensive water. So what can I do for you today? You seem like you have an ear to the ground. What's happening around here? There's the problems up on Peak 15. Synthetics Insights was shut down by Analeas, and a matriarch came through. Do you know where that matriarch is now? You looking for her? She took a shuttle to Peak 15 before we lost contact. What sort of problems are there at Peak 15? Don't know. In There's a blizzard up there, but we've had those before. Never cut the satellite this? uplinks before. Fifteen's always had a lousy reputation. Nobody talks about what they do there. And everyone sent up comes back a little quieter. What 
What do you do here? I'm the chief mechanic for Hanshin. Just call me Lee. Humans have a problem saying my full name. Got a team of 12 under me, keeping the shuttles coming and going. What was that about synthetic insights? Scuttlebutt says Lord Keen was on the take. Zynalea shut down SI's offices, quiet like, so no off world lawyers come in on it. How can I get into the garage? You need a pass. You can get one from Analeas or the managers, if you can polish enough gizzard. Maybe you could let me borrow yours? Sure. If I wanted to lose my job and get sued into the next spiral arm, security tracks card use. I have to go. You need I... anything? I'll be here. I liked how, like, Shepard was, like, smirking the entire time. That was actually kind of funny. Like, he was, like, trying to be sly with it. That's actually kind of funny. Um, all right, now we're going to head up here. Wait, maybe that's the door. No, there's no way. Is it? No, that's something else completely. What was this? Open? Oh. Uh, nothing over here. I like how shiny my armor looks. No glasses. So smooth. I do have to upgrade Garrus's armor. Oh. That was weird. Game hella crashed. Or was loading. Okay, there's. Excuse me. I need a moment of your time. The male human at the hotel bar? He's a sales rep for Binary Helix. His name is Raphael Vargas. I need you to speak with him. Do you know who I am? Everyone here knows who you are, Dullstone. That makes you ideal for my job. You are a known quantity, or so Vargas will think. He will assume you are here to investigate his company's dirty laundry. That will distract him from your... my... real intentions. He's right there. Why not talk to him yourself? I wish I could. I already bungled this myself. He realized I was not a real buyer. I don't know anything about Binary Helix. What would I talk to Vargas about? I represent the Aramali City Council on Thessia. Our town is known for its biotic amp crafters. What is your city's interest in Binary Helix? They do not manufacture amps. Much of BH's work relates to biotics. There are rumors that the Novaria branch has flown in Asari biotics. Powerful ones. Commandos, to be specific. We want to assess any potential risk to Asari copyrights. You will present yourself as a buyer, on behalf of the Spectres or the Alliance. Discuss their military enhancement programs. Your real objective will be to distract him. I will give you a device that will crack into his personal wireless network. It will upload a variety of monitoring viruses. They will infiltrate Binary Helix when he logs onto their intranet. What's in it for me? Money, of course. I would be well paid for this. So would you. 500 credits. Interesting plan. I'm in. Excellent. Here is the cracking device. You will know it is done when it beeps. I have assembled a dossier on Vargas. If you would like, I could brief you on his behavior patterns. Tell me what you know about Vargas. He is impatient with those who waste his time. I tried to get him distracted and off-topic. He concluded I was not interested in his company's services. I noticed he has a tell. When a topic makes him nervous or uncomfortable, he has a tendency to rub the back of his neck. If you see that, press him on the subject. It may distract him enough to keep him talking. I'll go see him now. I hope to hear from you soon. Okay. I'm just gonna look around real quick. Good. Supposed to mention numbers right now on thin strip. Full benefits, of course. Ah, oh, sure, the company takes care of its own. Full insurance, paid vacation, subsidized housing. After a year, I'd start getting stock options. You hear about the resort then? You're the Spectre, right? Management told us not to talk to you. Management told us not to talk to you. That's pretty damn rude. I'm sorry. The hotel is off limits to those without a corporate account. 
Oh, that must be the Krogan we're supposed to talk to. What do you want? I've heard Opal has something for you. Like I care that you know? You his courier or something? Yes, but I haven't picked up his cargo yet. Hmm. Sit down a minute. I have a business proposal. I'm paying the Hanar more than I want. I'll bet he's paying you less than you want. Sell it to me directly. Sorry. I told him I'd do this for him. <sighs> you know him so well that he's earned your loyalty. I'll be here if you change your mind. The Cryptians, though? Oh, that's because I don't have Tally. You know what? Maybe I should have Tally on my team. We'll come back and grab those two. Um, so I definitely need Tally on the team. Don't hang up. Elder brother, it's me. I'm on the Varia now. I can't talk long. This call is costing 10 credits a minute. Okay. It's real time. Can I help you? Mr. Vargas, I'm Commander Shepard, a Spectre. I understand you work for Binary Helix. That's correct. Rafael Vargas, sales. Were you interested in our services? I might be. That depends on what sort of offer your company can make. It was my understanding that the Citadel contracted to a Solarian Corporation for its enhancement programs. I'm sure you know that we pass a new budget every fiscal year. If it delivers a better soldier, contracts can change. A sound business practice. Excuse my hesitation, I've never heard a government accused of good business sense. First, the boilerplate disclaimer. No genetic enhancement is guaranteed to take. We can maximize the odds, but every strand of DNA is unique. Our patented techniques can provide an 8% improvement in adrenal response, 12% faster clotting, and a measurable decrease in ZG muscle degeneracy. I've never heard of a technique that improves zero-gravity endurance. It's a first for the industry. The advent of Element Zero-based artificial gravity made it a less pressing concern. We're still waiting for tests to give us an average improvement. We estimate a 7 to 11% decrease in muscle loss rates. I can get you those improvements for 30k credits per head. For a bulk order, I can work in a sensory enhancement package, guaranteed 2015 vision and hearing from 12 to 22,000 hertz. How would you distribute the upgrades? Retroviral injections would take some time. Well, it does take time to upgrade a body with adjusted DNA. Skin cells could be replaced in two weeks, but the liver takes over a year, and the skeleton a decade. For frontline units, we can speed the process with full system transfusions and injections to stimulate regrowth. It would still take six months to see results. I have to admit, it surprised me that you were here for business. There are many development projects on Avaria, some not entirely legal. I wear a lot of hats, Mr. Vargas. Some days I shut down criminals, some days I defuse nukes, some days I like to enjoy private vices. You understand me? I suppose. My apologies. Your manner is rather informal for a business meeting. I'm sorry, Mr. Vargas. That's a call I have to take. Thank you for your time. Of course, Commander Shepard. We look forward to doing business with the Citadel. Any results? Your toy did its job. Excellent. I will transfer 500 credits to your account. Only 500? All right. I thought you might have wanted to provide more. Since you couldn't do it yourself, I mean. Did I say 500 credits? I meant 750. Good day, Spectre. The 750 credits? It's still low, bro. What are you doing? All right. Afternoon. Sit down, have a drink. What can I do for you? I need to get up to peak 15. Indeed. That might be difficult. A terrible storm has been unleashed up there. The administrator won't give us garage access. Not surprising. Of course, all the managers have access as well. I do, for that matter. Did you see an Asari matriarch recently? Yes, she caused quite a stir. It's not every day a matriarch arrives with a guard detail of commandos. 
Is it so unusual to see a matriarch? They rarely venture beyond Asari space. To see such an esteemed figure is surprising. Lady Benezia was also dressed for her role. An Asari in a pin-striped suit set tongues wagging among the younger male employees, so to speak. Young males have an unhealthy obsession with my species. Armed commandos were allowed on Novaria? I don't know if they were disarmed. Of course, one can't confiscate biotic powers. Saren, and by extension, Benezia, is an important person. By that I mean an investor who might sell stock, if denied. You know why Benezia is here? She claimed to be Saren's assistant here to get a certain project back on track. I suspect she meant Peak 15. I have a different question. Humans are full of questions. I should write a book about it while I have the time to spare. Are you Lorik Keen? I've heard you might be able to help me. You are the Spectre that just arrived, are you not? What can an old Turian like me possibly help you with? I'm trying to find a way into the garage. I have places to go. You need a pass. How fortuitous. I'm the manager of the local Synthetic Insights office. For the moment, at least. Mr. Analeus closed my office. He claims to be investigating reports of my corruption. The administrator is an interesting man. He's become quite wealthy since he took direct control of rents. I sense a connection there. Indeed. I acquired evidence of Analeus' actions. His hired goons are ransacking my office to find it. I suspect your goal lies outside this port. Mr. Analeus would be disinclined to let you wander. If you recover the evidence from my office, I will give you my garage pass, as well as a sum of credits. Why didn't Analeas cancel your pass clearance? Why should he? There's nothing outside but snow and hungry Nathak. How did you get a pass? I'm a manager. Most executives on Novaria are free to come and go as they will. You have a plan? I do. However, there is one other... What is that charming human expression? Fly in the lotion? Violence against Mr. Analeas's thugs may be necessary. He has members of Han Shan's security team searching my offices. He's paying them under the table. Miss Matsuo is unaware of their outside employment. I'll focus on trying to get your evidence. If I'm lucky, I won't have to fight anyone. Excellent. Here is my pass into our offices. It will activate the elevator. The evidence is on my office computer. This OSD contains an encryption key to access it. Slide it into the drive and it will auto-execute. Oh, and do try to keep blood stains off the carpets, would you? Okay. Well, that will be the end of this video. I will be... The next video, I'll be in the Citadel, and, um... We're just gonna return some missions. I think we had a few missions we had to return. I don't exactly remember, actually. Uh, but anyways, I'll see you guys in the next episode. I'll see you next time. Bye!